Hi, my name is Don Christian. I'm a United States Air Force veteran. And back about 10 years ago, I was in a VA clinic in the waiting room, routine doctor's appointment. And I picked up a magazine and on the cover was uh, this guy, Frank Buckles. He was the last uh, World War I veteran to pass away. And uh, it jogged, um, jogged, jogged my memory and I went home and sure enough, uh, my, when my father passed away, my mother gave me a photo album in a manila envelope and says, Dad wanted you to have this. And I, I dug up the photo album and sure enough, my dad had been in World War I and he had passed away in 1987. My dad was born in 1896. I was born in 1957. And I never knew him. I never knew anything about his World War I history, what he did. So that very day I saw that article, I went and I began to do some research and come to find out that my dad was attached to the 18th Engineers Regiment, and he trained out of American Lake at Camp Lewis in Washington. The seven Western states, uh, all those men ended up there. So after 10 years of research, I've decided to do a in-depth series on the 18th Engineers. And I'm going to come at it from a perspective of the global, national, American perspective. And at the same time, I'm going to be interjecting it with my father's timeline. He took 250 photographs. So I'm going to dovetail the, the run up to the war in May of 1917 and of him quitting his job, what he was doing at the time. Went to San Francisco and up to Washington and on a train across to uh, New York and uh, on, a, on a boat across and did what he did in France and came back in 1919, picked right up with his life and whoop de doo So the story is rich in detail. Uh, the fact that these photographs have lasted a hundred years that I've, I, I, lost, I could have lost them at any number of times when they were in my possession, much the fact that they could have been lost any time in my father's possession. The whole thing is amazing. So uh, I'm going to produce a series of uh, an in-depth breakdown of the 18th Engineers Regiment, its participation in World War I, what they did, how they did it. I have lots of detailed information about the specific work they did. We'll be able to honor the men that did that. And then my father's photographs will supplement that. And uh, one of the big reasons I'm doing this is I uh, didn't know my dad. I'm going to be almost 65 here. And I never knew my father. And I never realized how hard it was for him 1917 to go off to war turned 21 on a ship you know, out in the Atlantic on his way to France. Don't know if you're going to come back or not. Uh, we take so much for granted these days. So these last 10 years was finding the father I never knew in World War I through pictures and research. He never really spoke about it. Didn't really know about it. That's him over my shoulder there. In the uh, photograph there, at, uh, he's 20 years old. That's taken at American Lake. And I'll get into those photographs. We'll look at them in depth. We'll be able to look at them closely and examine them. And um, hopefully we'll be able to connect many other uh, brothers, uncles, fathers, grandfathers, relatives, because some of my photographs, are all of them are, are well detailed. White ink on black paper, names, dates, places. So I'm hoping to reconnect many, many uh, other uh, families in the United States with pictures of their loved ones in World War I. Just a little connection uh, with history. 
So I'm looking forward to doing the, to producing this series. Uh, there's lots of information to pr present. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down in little little segments and uh, there we have it. Hope people will follow along and want to you know learn some history about World War One, see some great photographs that haven't been seen for quite a while, and hear an amazing story from a, a national level and from a personal uh, historical perspective. Anyway, thanks for listening and uh, stay tuned.